Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful night. So today we're talking about Kotaku and Did You Know Gaiman. Now, the story at the end of this rainbow kind of does have a good ending per se, but it's something that shouldn't have happened in the first place, especially for an outlet like Kotaku. So uh, congratulations to Kotaku for taking our story and exclusively obtained information from our video without any acknowledgement to Did You Know Gaiman or link in the video. We broke the story and worked with a team that made the mod to produce the video so they're talking about a lost f-zero game i'll leave a link to the video down below so you can watch it for yourself but did you know gaming is notorious for doing these great pieces where they uncover like a uh, hidden or tucked away information about games and they recently did a really good one about a lost f-zero game it's a terrific video again i'll leave it linked below and kotaku thought it was so good that they decided to basically take all the information and write an entire article about it granted they have updated the article at first they did acknowledge the did you know gaming in the article but they still didn't post the video so that was like strike two and then eventually they did reach out to Did You Know Gaming with a senior editor uh, telling them that they were sorry, they accepted the apology, and since then they have linked the video. Now, the thing about this is that, one, you kind of learn about how to source information, I would say from junior high school, at least that's where I learned how to do it, where wherever you get your information from, you have to source it. In fact, in college, they were very, very serious about that. If you get any sort of information, you basically have to create a footnote, a citation, anything, and obviously it is very serious because if you don't source your information, one, it loses credibility, and two, it kind of borderlines on plagiarism because it kind of showcases that you took this information and you're making it your own despite the fact that you weren't the one who found it but uh yeah it was just a bit confusing that they took multiple steps to ratify this issue not to mention like this is kotaku look regardless of what you may think of kotaku there are a lot of like mixed backed information about them uh i do know people who work there they are lovely people but regardless like this is something that shouldn't have happened in the first place because sourcing information it seems like one of the most basic skills that you should have when you work in a publication like i got this information from them and it's not like they weren't they would get away with this did you know gaming it's a huge youtube channel with over 2 million subs so it just seems a little ridiculous that they wouldn't go the extra mile the other argument and i'm not trying to like um, be too much of a devil's advocate is that they just quickly wrote this article to maximize clicks that is an entire possibility but at the same time again source your information of where you got it and stuff like that um and you can also make the argument maybe it was someone new to the publication sometimes you make mistakes it happens but the person will wrote, do not harass this person don't go after them or anything has been writing for the publication for a while now so you know anytime i try to create a devil's advocate argument it just seems like there is another more prudent ar argument to this situation like why wouldn't you source your information for a brand new video that's very popular on their channel about a major ip and i mean it did end well like they decide hey we're just going to put the we're going to do everything and update the article it's not like with the ign article with subnautica in that situation you could make the argument at least i made the argument that they just dropped the ball and they rushed into the story while getting all their information but in this situation it doesn't seem that way it just seems like the person purposely tried to isolate that information maybe the keep like the number one thing i can think of i've worked in these types of publications and they wanted to keep the user on the page because if you keep the user on the page then more ads play and they get more revenue from it as minuscule as that may sound that's kind of how most websites operate they want to keep you on the page of their website as long as possible so they can maximize the amount of ads that they play on your on their page you can see here uh Right here, you can see an ad on the lower right-hand corner. It just plays autoplay for a long time. And yeah, that's kind of the reason I can think of of why they did this. Regardless, I mean, at least everything ended well with Did You Know Gaiman and Kotaku. They shook hands and said, sorry, this well, we didn't mean to do this. And likely the person will get reprimanded for doing something because this isn't a tiny issue. It's kind of a major issue because the video they made, Did You Know Gaiman, took a lot of work, research, compli uh, compiling, um, editing. A lot of work went into that video and you can see a lot of heart went to it. So it just doesn't seem like a really good idea to even consider like 
the nefarious propositions they may have put forward in order to make this article. It seems very small, but when you put your heart and soul into a very large investigative piece like what they did, did you know Gaiman, it hurts when people start to just source your information and not uh, provide credit for the people who did it. I know Insider Gaiman kind of goes through this a lot where a lot of publications just take their stories and never really source their information. Look, mistakes happen. It does happen, but at least everything ended well. But that's it for me. Bye.